Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. So today is Tuesday, October 12th, and it's currently 5.44 p.m. And I have Eilina here, someone who you have not saw in a while since I took her out, really. So I told you guys I was going to give her an outfit change on the video I posted on Saturday. And I actually was supposed to make this video on Saturday. It's like uploaded by Sunday. But as you guys can see, I didn't upload on Sunday and today is Tuesday, so here we are. So we're going to get our Lena changed out of this outfit. And she's been in this outfit for so long, so I know she's super excited to get changed. And I took some pictures of her right before this so I can have something to post on Instagram because her outfit was too cute not to post. Now before I get started in on what I want to talk about today and getting her changed and show you guys all of that, I do want to say... Sorry about the background. I am in a different room recording. We do have like shoe boxes and then my laptop. And then you guys see this little guy over here? Well, he's not so little. This is Chandler. Go watch the video of me changing him into this outfit. But yeah, he's back there. He's just watching his big sissy get changed into a different outfit since he did. And since all of the babies did actually. <laughs> like everybody got changed except for Alina. So. We're gonna get her changed and I do want to show you guys the pictures I took because they're so cute and I don't know if I'm gonna upload them because Chandler he was in it but he wasn't dressed for the occasion so it looks off and then Zaire wasn't dressed for the occasion either so I'm not even gonna post them because yeah they she was all dressed up and like her outfits like sort of kind of fancy and then he has like a beach outfit on and then Zaire has just a regular regular outfit on but um the concept is really cute and we can do this around Christmas time maybe or just more so around the holidays yeah around Christmas we'll try to recreate this photo but it's so cute and then this is the one that she was like I am the star of the show I'm getting my own photos and so you guys get a little sneak peek because I'm going to upload this video tomorrow for Wednesday's video and then I'm not going to post these until Saturday or Sunday because I just posted Chandler last week and I don't like to post too often. Uh, I just messed up like the quality. I might have to put on the ring light. It was doing so so good. And um, Before I go into the settings and put the ring light on I do want to show you guys <laughs> Eilina's and Chandler's photo. Here it is, little brother for sale, so cute. Yeah, see, they didn't really turn out that, like, that cute because his outfit, his outfit choice wasn't perfect for the photo. So yeah, we're gonna try to recreate the photo um, at a later time, but we have tons of photos of Eilina in this outfit that she's just gonna get her own little slideshow. So go ahead and follow my Instagram so you guys can like those photos and see the other photos, but you guys get this little behind the scene. So um, I'm gonna put the ring light on. I'm not gonna adjust it too high. As you guys can see, this lighting is actually really, really good. Um, so I'm gonna put the ring light on and then I'm gonna show you guys what she's gonna be wearing. Then we're gonna get into the topic and I'm going to aim for the video to be 10 to 15 minutes no longer than that i have to aim for a length or i'm just going to get to talking and the video is going to take too long and be so long so i'm aiming for 10 minutes 12 minutes but i really don't want to get to the 15 minute mark so i'm just going to go ahead and just get right into the video okay so i have the rain light on and it looks kind of weird because like i said the lighting is actually like really good but it was starting to get messed up when I was showing you guys the photos and I didn't have time to play with it. So she's going to be wearing just this really cute simple onesie. Kind of looks like a little romper but it's a onesie and it is Cat and Jack. Oh I have it backwards. <laughs> it's Cat and Jack size 0 to 3 months and I love putting 0 to 3 months. I don't really like putting 3 months because it's a little bit too big and then of course she can't even fit into the newborn. Unless I really squeeze her into her if it's a really large newborn. But just this super cute onesie. And it has like leaves on it. And I just love the colors. And it is still hot out here. Which is why she's wearing this sleeveless onesie. I mean it started to warm up a little bit. But on some days it's still 100 degrees. So that's why she's going to be wearing something to cool her off. I believe in the video of me announcing Chandler's uh, name. I said that I was going to talk to you guys in this video of me changing Eilina about oh the layaway plan for Scarlett and for Roborn Claudia. 
So, it's telling me, sorry guys, it's telling me it's too light. So, I just want to talk about layaway and the different um, payments of layaway and all of that good stuff. And then I will talk about theirs. So, I personally don't offer layaway for my babies. I did it in the past. It wasn't a horrible experience for me. It just wasn't one that I wanted to continue to do. Who knows, maybe later down the line I might offer layaway. But my babies are on the affordable side. And so, that is why I decided to not offer layaway. And plus, um, like I said, it wasn't a horrible experience when I did offer it. It's just something that I was just like, never again, or at least not right now. So, could be something possibly for the future because like I said, I didn't have a too horrible experience with it. Um, so, you guys are like, what is layaway and what is payment plan? So, basically a layaway is... I was not prepared to make a video today, but I had to get something out for Wednesday's video, so I am like all over the place. But a layaway is when you see an item you want and you only have so much money. And so you basically put a down payment on the item or therefore the baby. And then you keep making payments on the baby until you get the baby paid off. I'm going to have her look at you guys. You say if you saw a $300 baby but you only had $150, you would put down that $150 and whoever you purchased the baby from could decide if that $150 is non-refundable, which means you won't get that back if you decide you don't want the baby anymore, or if it is refundable where if you decide you don't want the baby anymore, you will get that back. Um, so they can set up how much of a non-refundable or a refundable deposit they can just set up how much of the deposit they want so 150 for 300 dollar dow is very realistic it wouldn't be like only put 30 dollars down on the baby and it's yours some people do offer that but most people don't it's a little unrealistic to put down only about 50 dollars on a 300 dollar dow and continue to make payments but some people are really flexible so who knows you might be able to do that so she is all changed. Look at her. She is so cute. I'm going to do her hair. And then I did want to talk about her hair too. So I'm going to hurry up and wrap this up. So yeah, that is basically what layaway is. And um, I hope I explained it right. If not, I apologize. <laughs> Again, I don't offer layaway right now for my babies because I think they are on the cheaper side. On Mercari, they are offering layaway, but theirs is a little bit different. Theirs is kind of like after pay. So basically what that is, is you pay a certain amount, they will tell you how much you need to have now, and you still receive the item, and you pay either weekly or every two weeks. So that's another thing. When you're buying from like someone, they can have you pay either weekly or twice a month or once a month. You guys can set that up. But on different apps, they have it already set up on how much you have to pay, how much you have to put down and how often you have to put it down for. So, of course, when you go through an app, they have their own little set of rules about how much and how often, but if you're purchasing from someone, then you guys can obviously discuss that and figure out how much you guys, how much they want you to put down and um, how often. But um, yeah, on Mercari, you are now allowed to do payment plans. So you're allowed to put down an amount they will tell you how much you have to put down and it, it has to be the same amount each I think it's each week I'm really not sure I've never did it and they just got it so I'm not sure exactly how it works but um, they already have it and they'll tell you how much you have to put down for the first payment and then the remainder of the payments the good thing about theirs is you do get your item so <laughs> yeah you can pay as little as like I don't know it just all depends on the price of the item really but I'm just going to use this as an example so you can pay $90 every week or every two weeks and as soon as you put down that first $90 you do get your item on Mercari however I don't recommend it to those who know that they're not going to have the $90 the next week that they have to pay for the um, item so if you know you're not going to have that $90, I would not recommend it because, yeah, I'm not sure how that will go if you don't have it. So I only say that like if 
you know you're going to get $90 that week and whatnot and so forth. So, yeah, that is the cool thing about the Mercari one. You do get your item. And so I do have Claudia and Scarlett on there. And so you are able to do that payment option for the every week or the bi-weekly. And you will still be able to receive them. So I just thought that was actually really cool. And so that's all that I really have to say about it. I'm sorry if I didn't explain it good. Like I said, I have a time frame for myself and I feel like I went over that by repeating the same thing and not really having it down packed. Like, obviously I know what it is, but explaining it off the top of my head gave me a little brain fart. But she is in her super cute outfit. Look at her chubby thighs. This is her first time on the boppy and she does not fit. <laughs> She's way too long, but... She looks cute on it. So before I go, I did want to talk to you guys about her hair. Oh, but yeah, if you guys want Re Reborn Claudia or Scarlet, check them out on Mercari. They are more money on Mercari because of the fees. You guys know I always tell you guys this, but if you wanted to do payment plans on them, that's the only way to do it for now since I don't offer it. So head over to Mercari. Use my code QQDPHT because you do get money off when you sign up. Let me talk about her hair really quick. So I did notice, I was watching her box opening video because I was like, her box opening video was so horrible because it just didn't, I didn't know it was open like this. Oh my gosh. I'm losing trying to thought. But I was just like, her box opening is so horrible because it was just really, it was just really bad in my opinion. So I was just watching it because it was really bad and I was just thinking about how bad it was. And I was like, wow, she has, or had a lot of hair. Like, when I was watching it, I was like, oh my gosh, she had a lot of hair. Does she still have that hair? And now that I look at it, her hair definitely in the back. Not on the sides or the front, but in the back right here, her hair has thinned out. And so, you can definitely see it on camera. And I'm a little sad about that. But, you know, when you have these downs for a while, the hair does start to, like, thin out and... I don't want to say fall out because her hair has not been falling out. It just thins out because she's always laying on her back and her head. So it's just like a real baby. And I mean, it looks super realistic, of course. But, you know, me getting her with a head full of hair then over time her losing it just makes me feel like I'm not doing a good job of keeping up with her. So I am going to be putting the saran wrap over her hair to preserve it and to keep it intact and to keep it perfect. I've seen a lot of people have been using saran wrap and I definitely have to switch over and I'll be doing that for all of my babies with rooted hair and that means actually all my babies in my collection because all my babies have rooted hair except for Messiah he's bald but they're in the storage anyway but even the babies that I made they both have rooted hair so I'm gonna put some saran wrap on all the baby's hair just so none of them fall out if I can't find any saran wrap or if I don't have any, I'm just going to put like a plastic baggie or something because I can't keep messing up my kids' hair. So I just wanted to talk about that um, as well. But that is it for this video. I changed her super fast because she's not really wearing anything that will take a while to change her into. Um, I'm going to take you guys. Oh, I forgot you guys were zoomed in. Here is Eilina. Eilina Blue. She's so cute. And that is pretty much it for this video. And I'm going to refrain from me putting, like, headbands on. Especially if I'm not taking photos of her. You know, I just leave the headband on her, like, every day 24-7. And it's like, no. And why? Because that could also be causing her hair to break off. So, yeah. No more headbands for right now. And if I do, they're only in for pictures. But, yeah. Here's her. And here's her cute little outfit. She looks adorable. Look at her chubby little thighs. But I love Eilina. And I know you're not supposed to have favorites, but her and Chandler are my favorites. <laughs> um, don't tell the other babies. That is it for this video. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at my underscore reborn. So you definitely can see the photos that I took of her. If you have not joined my membership, go ahead and join it because I have exclusive content over there. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want, including video requests. We are going to be doing an emoji. I used to do it, or I, not every video, but sometimes I'd be like, comment down this emoji if you watched all the way until here. It just lets me know who's watching. It's always a unique emoji, so it does stand out from the typical hearts and smiley face. So I'm not sure of the emoji because I don't have all the emojis listed, but it's on the screen right now. Comment that emoji since you're here watching all the way to the end. I love you guys so much. 
If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Click that subscribe button. Click on that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. And that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.